Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Faith and Flower. I'm Robin and today I want to show you a recipe for a white chili that is vegan and gluten free. And I made it in my new Instant Pot. Um, this I just received for Valentine's Day. I chose the Instant Pot Mini Lux because it is perfect for our family. Right now we have basically three at home. Uh, one is away at college and it is perfect for our family. In fact, even when I make a recipe in this small Instant Pot, it's usually enough for two meals. So I'm gonna show you how we make the chili today. Let's get started on the recipe. Set your Instant Pot to saute and saute the onions in the oil until they are tender, about eight to 10 minutes. Continue to stir the onions periodically so that they don't stick or burn. Add salt and pepper to the onions. When the onions are soft, add the green chilies, garlic, and cumin. Stir in the gluten-free flour blend, and I will add the link to my recipe in the description box below, and stir well. Then add the beans that have been soaked in water for four to six hours. You can use canned beans instead, but one of the great benefits of the Instant Pot is that dried beans, which are significantly cheaper than canned, come out great in much less time than cooking them the conventional way. It may seem strange that I'm adding the beans before the liquid, but I'm doing this to make sure that I don't overfill the Instant Pot. There is a max fill line on the inside of the insert that will show you where you need to stop in order not to overfill. Now I'm adding the corn, however ideally I would have done this with the beans before the liquid, but I do know that the four cups of liquid is the perfect amount not to exceed that max fill line for this recipe. Make sure that you stir everything together very well. Secure the lid, locking it into place, and be sure that the pressure valve is set to sealing. Then turn off the saute mode and select the meat or stew mode and set the time to 15 minutes. In a few seconds, the pot display will say on, indicating that the pot is coming to pressure. When the cook time was complete, I did a quick release of pressure but you can allow the pot to naturally release its pressure, which takes about 10 minutes. Remove the lid, pour in the nut milk, and I like to use silk protein nut milk because it is so creamy. Also the lime juice and any additional salt and pepper to taste. Top the chili with fresh avocado and cilantro. If you do not have an Instant Pot, I will link the recipe below with the conventional instructions. It's really not that different. It's just fun to make it in the Instant Pot because it's so fast and easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
And if you have an Instant Pot, I would love it if you would link your favorite recipes below. I'm so excited to try new things in my new Instant Pot. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.